my name is Walter Unglob, and this is an easy way to learn molarity. So first let's consider the definition of molarity. The unit for one molar of substance is capital M. So molarity for one molar substance is defined as one mole of a particular species, chemical species, divided by one liter. So what is a mole? Well, there's something in chemistry known as Avogadro's number, which is typically denoted as capital N sub capital A, A for Avogadro and N for number. Avogadro's number is equal to 6.022 approximately times 10 to the 23, here I'm using the shorthand scientific notation, this giant number of particles in one mole. So you can abbreviate mole as just M-O-L, like I did up here in the definition for one molar. And a liter is a unit of measure for volume and it's usually used for volumes containing solutions. So here I have a little glass container diagram, like a beaker, and it's filled with a solution, usually water, H2O, and I have in all of these dots, these represent particles in this solution. So the more particles I have in the same volume of solution, in this case water, the greater the concentration will be and hence the larger the molarity of this particular species will be. So as an example, one molar, since it's equal to one mole in one liter of liquid, if I use this definition of Avogadro's number, that means I have this many particles in one mole, and if I want to rewrite this expression in terms of particles per meters cubed, I just substitute in the definition. I'm going to have 6.022 times 10 to 23 particles, and one liter is equivalent to 10 to the minus three meters cubed. So one E minus three meters cubed. And this is approximately equal to 6 times 10 to the 26 particles per meters cubed. So this represents one molar of the species that I'm considering in the speaker. Two molar would simply be twice this number, and so on and so forth. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is an easy way to learn molarity.